Hey, this is SJM4306, and I know it's been a while since I've done my last video, but I have a guest here today, and um, we'll be calling him Tenacious Bree, or TB for short, TB yeah. and Jelly. Didn't think, didn't think that through when I chose that name. Yeah, but, um, so as you can see, I, I've been, um, you know, going on about this, uh, my uh, new, relatively new uh, PS Vita here. Nice and shiny, you can see us, yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so... So I've been playing this, and I've I've already opened it up because uh, one of the joysticks was a little loose and it pushed in a little bit. But um, I wanted to do a teardown for you guys, and I know uh, not many people go around tearing down two hundred and fifty dollar devices. So I thought that'd be pretty cool. And uh, basically, my input on this will be like, ah, yes, look at that, because SJ knows a lot more than I do. Yep. So uh, let's get started on this. Basically, four screws, one in each corner, which is a common theme in a lot of electronics. Symmetry is, uh, is awesome. Uh, let me just make sure I got the right size bit, because these guys you really don't want to strip. Yeah, I'm going to need something smaller, probably. Yeah, I'm always going on about my multi-bit set here, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually surprised, like... What are you taking that apart? Is that just Phillips or is, is that Torx or? Uh, these guys are just standard Phillips, but like they're the smallest uh, oh, okay. tip that you could find. I think this is a size zero. So I was actually gonna say like I'm a little surprised. Normally they don't put like uh, Phillips on new electronics or something like that. Yeah, I'm surprised. Like I know Sony usually is a bit of a bitch when putting stickers all over everything. This is one of the few devices in their um, their gaming line where there's there's no warranty stickers. There's no special screws required to open it. There are just four screws on the back, and as I'll show you, there's some clasps, which you just need to get under with a pry tool. You did something right, Sony. Yep, finally. <laughs> uh, well, one of the things that they did right on this device, they fucked up on a lot of things, so... But uh, we'll go over that later. Yes, so, because uh, I don't want to buy an SD card for $32. Thank you, Sony. Yes. Yeah, this 4-gig memory card that cost me, like... What was it, like 25 bucks or something? Yeah. That's, what are we living in, like, 1980s or something? Anyway. What it used to cost, I remember uh, a guy that I used to work with was telling me about the <laughs> gigabyte that weighed, like, uh, about 100 pounds. It sold it for, like, $10,000 or something when that yeah, was new. It was old hard drives. Oh, yeah, God. It was ridiculous. Okay, so the easiest way about this is uh, just find uh, one of the flat edges and get in there with your little iPod pry tool. Um, I might try to start at the bottom. Oh yeah, it might be a good idea to take out memory cards and whatnot there. No, I'm sure you can just leave that in there. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fine. It'll remember what we do. I know, I know. <laughs> and uh, like my favorite game of like all time, uh, Persona 4. I'm sorry, it, it just <laughs> is my favorite game. Oh yeah, uh, before I forget, Good thing I opened these up because there are actually two more screws hiding in here. Uh, just need to get those, and then there are two more on the dock connector before we start prying. See, so it was a good thing I checked for oh, games. Yeah. Always check, or else you're going to break something. Yep. It's not the best advice. <laughs> yeah. But it'll do. I'm. It doesn't rhyme or anything, but... Oh, whatever. I, I, I don't know. I can probably think of a rhyme by the end of this that'll help us out. <laughs> no, I can't. Never mind. Uh, Open the PS Vita. <laughs> check for screws before you wreck. I, I don't know. For, I, I, don't know. Uh -huh. I give up. Yeah. Well, anyway. Hey, man, we're engineers. We're not poets. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just going to have to keep those separate there. And uh, so now that we have all the screws out, now we can boot him prying. Uh, last time I did this, I believe, I actually got started with my fingernails. You know, fingernails are like God's screwdrivers. <laughs> I always say this, but, um, they, they're non-marring. They're pretty damn strong, I'm surprised. Um, yeah. But, uh, let's just see. This is always the hardest part, uh, getting a place, a foothold. There we go. Now... Have you looked into opening up one of these before? Uh, yes, I have. 
Now, for the back with the uh, little touchpad type jazz, um, how do they connect that to? Is it a ribbon connector or is it just like something that just fits on to the circuit board? Um, there's a little snap connector, which I'll show you in a second after I get this guy open. I'm trying to sound as useful as possible without doing anything. Of course. <laughs> of course. You have the best of friends. Uh, Oops. It turned itself on. Oh, yeah. Uh, Might have been good to uh, press and hold. I'm usually good about this stuff. Power off. Mm. Unfortunately, I usually advise taking out the batteries uh, before taking anything apart, but luckily Sony uh, has deemed it in their great wisdom to make non-user serviceable batteries. I say non-user serviceable because they actually are user serviceable. They just don't want you opening it up and changing it. So, okay. We finally gotten all the clips off. Well, if they really didn't want people opening it, then why use Phillips? Exactly. <laughs> Anywho, let's not question their great wisdom. Uh, yeah. So basically, we Maybe tilt it open sense. here. There is uh, one tiny little... Um, I just had a British accent. Little. Anyway... you got to stop watching those HBO movies. Now. I know. So there's a little ribbon connector that goes to... There's actually two. One for the rear touch panel right in there. You see that silver thing? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll get better lighting there after I get them out. And one thicker one for the, um, it's like a little Molex for the battery connector. So this is going to be fun. I'm going to pull off this little one first. And now this one is takes a little more uh, negotiation, the uh, battery one, to uh, pry it out without damaging anything. There you go. And so all we have in the, the rear board, it's very interesting how they did the speakers. These speakers are uh, front firing, so they actually fire through these little grill holes here. Mm -hmm. Except for they're mounted to the back of the case, and they just have little contacts that uh, press down on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so they're not actually hardwired in, they're just pressed. Uh, no, yeah, they just have these little hardwirings, and there are little uh, slits cut out of that uh, board, and that acts as like the, uh, the chamber for the speaker to make it sound lo louder. Everything's just falling apart now. Yeah, yeah the, uh, <laughs> these little guys are falling out the uh, left and right triggers. I'm sure they're not important. No, <laughs> not at all. And so your speakers are basically just press fit in the back here. It's mostly empty space, if you see. You have some standoffs for putting pressure onto the uh, button boards, and you'll notice the uh, antennas uh, just for Wi-Fi and whatnot are just mounted up there. Um, yeah, and then you got your battery uh, Molex cable here, and then you got a little press fit connector for the rear touch panel. Which is interestingly enough, I think someone counted all the all the uh, X square triangle circle symbols on here, and it added up to like what was it like 1,000 or something like that. <laughs> someone actually sat there and calculated, you know. But anywho, that's pretty much all. Pretty hefty battery on this guy, but it only gets like I'm only getting maybe like four or five hours, and that's with Wi-Fi off. Thanks, Sony. Yeah, but Nintendo didn't fare much better, <laughs> yeah, well, to be fair, with the um Maybe it's just because I like to pick on Sony. Yeah, so anyway, now we get to the uh, meat and bones of this. I'm going to use a plastic tool to sh uh, point at stuff. Interestingly enough, Sony decided to use baby, <laughs> baby colors for the screws, and they'll separate them. The blue ones attach the peripheral boards, the left and right um, side boards with the push buttons on them, and every pink screw is for this main board. <laughs> Well, I'm glad they're now insulting us by giving us little goo goo gaga -ga well, colors. Well, here's the thing. Here. Like, the way I see it, that's where your $250 are going. <laughs> oh, yeah, towards the coloration of the screws. Okay, so let's take these guys off. You know, if they really wanted to be clever, why didn't they make the blue ones connect all the male connectors and the pink ones have the uh, female connectors? Uh, I don't know. Anywho. Sony. We'll take off the uh, left and right triggers. There are two little uh, ZIF connectors here. Uh, to get these guys off, you just pry up on the little black bar there. And likewise on this side. Now here's where a pair of uh, tweezers, straight um, tweezers come in handy. You can actually kind of carefully wiggle those out there, the uh, the actual flat flex cable. Goodness, I think if I was taking this apart myself, I never would have noticed those. And then when I go to take the whole thing out, just I rip it out and be like, oh, it doesn't work anymore when I put it back together. Yeah, you got to be really careful. These little tiny uh, uh, I don't think I zip cables uh, are very, very fragile. You don't want to break the tab. Uh, 
Yeah, that was weird. My camera just stopped recording all of a sudden. Anywho, uh, so now that we have those out... Oh, wait. Your your camera is also a Sony. Maybe it doesn't like us making fun of it or taking it yeah, Maybe, maybe uh, it knows that I'm taking part in other Sony. It's so. become self-aware. Yeah, it's become self-aware. Machines. Okay, so these little guides... Oh, there's actually one interesting thing that I'd like to point out before getting uh, too deep in this. Um... This model is the Wi-Fi only model. Let me get something non-conductive to point at it. You see this little uh, slot here? Mm. And these two standoffs? That's where the 3G module goes for the uh, 3G version, which has like a cellular uh, data plan. So if I had the 3G version, there would be a connector soldered here and a card with two screws in either corner there that does all the uh, 3G um, cellular network uh, voodoo. Now, if someone really wanted to, could they turn it into that? Uh, yeah, you could actually solder in the connector. It's in the firmware, but the problem would be, um, I mean, why would you want to, honestly? Because the only thing that does, they won't allow you to download games over wi the uh, cellular network. The only thing you can do is update your, like, your save files if you have, like, what was it, the, uh, what you going to call it, um, if you wanted to, like, send your uh, game saves or your trophies online, and that's pretty much all you can do. You can't really surf the web as far as I know, I don't think. I would do it for the lols. <laughs> okay, making progress on this. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of little tiny screws that you don't want to lose. But at least they make them pretty colors. For oh, wait, see, you rhymed just there. It's a bunch of tiny little screws you just don't want to lose. Yeah, of course. There you go, see? Uh, maybe I am a poet. Yeah, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm a poet and I don't know it. I <laughs> Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> once we get this guy out. SJM just, he keeps me tied up in his basement. He doesn't let me leave. Shh, we don't speak of that. Oh, good. It's the first time he's unchanged me. Okay, I don't, you, my wrist hurt. I don't know how, uh, how deep we are going to go into this guy because I don't want to destroy it. But, um, I'm going to take you as far as I've went, at least as far as I've went before. And so, basically what we have to do now is remove these little flex cables so that we can get these sideboards off. Very carefully. And yes, of course. And then this is a matter of being very careful. And I believe there were some retention clips holding these two sideboards down if I can remember right oh yeah might as well go and take off these um, connectors are for the joy the joysticks might as well do that now very carefully because each like the joysticks replacement ones I've seen online are like ridiculously expensive. Like they want twenty dollars each, like on eBay. Like, no, I'm sorry, no. Okay, and this guy should sort of just. Uh... Okay, there's one retention clip right in uh, here. You're gonna want to very carefully negotiate the board around there, and then it should more or less lift off. If it doesn't work, start to yell at it. Yeah, that always works. Yeah. Yep, and so we have the. Um, these are the directional pads. A lot of game systems use these, actually. These are just like uh, plastic domed uh, tack switches, so they're nice and clicky. Mm. And they get the squishy feeling from the rubber membrane in there. And I am surprised, normally, when they have this, the uh, the connectors are actually on the other end, or they just have the... Uh, they have the meshed copper that aren't touching each other, but then they have the little uh, conductive piece come down and touch it from the portion that's actually in yeah, here. Yeah, the, um, the carbonized um, traces and the rubber membrane. Yes. Those are for cheaper devices. This guy, you're paying 250 for this. You're going to get individual buttons. <laughs> well, you buy the fancy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> now, this guy set me back. I can't afford to buy anything now. But it was worth it, I think. Oh, yeah. And so here we have... The uh, start and select buttons, and these are the, um, you know, the square, triangle, uh, X, and circle. And it's interesting to note that in Japan, the, um, the, in the U.S., the X is select and O is to go back. 
-hmm. But in Japan, it's the exact opposite. So if you're playing a Japanese game, these aren't region locked, so I could buy a Japanese game and play it on here. But the thing is, um, O would be select and X would be to go back. <laughs> Thanks, Japan. Yeah, yeah, you tell me. And Sony. So, anywho. They don't like us Americans, do they? No, not really. But uh, these guys, now we have, uh, let's take out the joysticks. Because uh, they're really cute, actually. We got some more blue screws here. I never bought a Famicom anyway. <laughs> and once I get this guy out. Yeah, the 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 only thing that I, that I uh, mentioned that we had to that I had to do uh, when I first bought this the joysticks were loose. I just had to tighten those uh, oops two little blue screws that are holding it in. Um, and basically we have this guy. Yeah, it's a little joystick. It's like the cutest little thing. Uh, everyone was was moaning and complaining on the PSP about how it didn't have two joysticks. And well, you know, Sony uh, corrected that at least. Mm. Uh, it's not the greatest, but it's much better than the the slider one that the PSP uses and whatnot. And so basically, all we have are little rubber membranes uh, holding in the uh, switches themselves. But uh, not too interesting. I'll just get those back in there so I don't lose them. Thanks, Sony. Oh, yeah. Sony loves what we're doing right now. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, man. And let's see. I guess I'll pull out the main board. Oh, just do it. <laughs> it's for the fans. Yeah. Think of the people, man. I swear to God, hopefully this doesn't... I I'll love you if you do. I've never done this before, pull out the entire main board. It'll get you bitches. So, uh, you guys better be, uh... Thankful. So, two pink screws in the center there. I'm not going to pull out the other joystick. It's identical it's the to the one. <laughs> yeah. And the um, the rear touchpad is held in place with adhesive to the back there. And the front screen bezel and the screen itself are fused with lots of adhesive to the actual um, the actual case of this. So, it makes it kind of expensive if you crack your screen to replace it. Which really stinks, but here's here's the interesting thing. Um, they actually hid a screw. You, you might start prying it up right now, and it won't pull up because they hid a screw underneath the camera, the rear side camera. Oh, story of my life, hidden screws. Hey, tell you what, anybody uh, who is maybe not used to taking things apart, uh, if you were having trouble opening something and you think you've taken out all the screws, look under stickers. Yeah, you haven't. <laughs> you haven't taken out all the screws. Okay. Uh, learned that the hard way lots and lots of times, and over I feel and stupid again. every time that I forget that, oh yeah, there's probably something under the stickers, or there's probably something under this little movable part that doesn't have a screw. It's and like the one lesson you never learn enough. Yeah, because I always find myself trying to pry something open, and then be like, what's wrong? And then like a, a half hour later, it's just like, ah, well, there's a hidden screw. Thank you, Sony. Okay, Um, I think we're going to need to remove this panel now it just snaps out very carefully the little clips in there and these are just you know held in place with little pieces of rubber there and so that's nothing really all that special um, what's interesting is they decided to mount the uh, the power button on a little tiny it gets its own little flex cable it's special but the uh, volume buttons are just little tiny these are the tiniest little tack side uh, tack switches ever mm. but yeah we got that and I see another pink screw that's probably a good idea to remove that guy I am still a little confused as to why they found it important to color these screws I don't know maybe they just had like an excess of pink screws and blue screws and they're just like yeah maybe they were gonna make like a child's line of just like uh ps feeders or something like that and then maybe they found out that oh maybe the screws are too but small you know Kids maybe might choke on it. maybe because they have too much money <laughs> at sony for you okay yeah, now just dip them in gold if they feel like edging these uh this uh main board out using there are a ton of little tiny clips along the side and hopefully i can so, yeah, uh, I don't know how much we missed here, but all I did was uh, got my way around it, um, 
their little plastic clips, pulled out the main board, and flicked the uh, display connector out there. Sorry about that. Apparently, my my camera can't do very, very long videos. Software? Yep. So, um, basically, here's the main board, and you got your uh, metal shielding. I don't feel like taking those out, unfortunately, because they're a bitch to get out. But other than that, uh, they hide all the goodies under all these shielding. Um, they have a little little heat sink pads there that, that um, mate with the back of the LCD for uh, distributing the heat there. And other than that, you just got one ribbon connector for the uh, beautiful 5-inch OLED display and the uh, touchpad connector there. And as I said, it's it's a pain to get to, to just change the LCD or the digitizer, unfortunately. Uh, Sony didn't really have repair in, in mind for that instance. But um, I guess I'm going to stop the recording now, put it back together, because I don't think you guys want to watch me reassemble this entire thing, which will probably take like half an hour. I don't know, man. Maybe there's like someone out there who just watches your videos all the time, and then he thinks to himself, ah, this is the way to do it right. And he just has a whole bunch of like taken the stuff, like stuff taken apart, just all over his house, and he just never puts them back together because you never show them. <laughs> this is what you Fine, got. I'll show it. No. And there's a little there's a little <laughs> front-facing camera in there. It's, it's uh, saying hi there. Ah. The cameras are like they're like VGA resolution. They're only 640 by 480, so they're kind of sad. But, uh... But, yeah. No, you, you don't have to show them putting it back together. I'm sure... You know what, guys? If you want to know how to put it back together, watch this in reverse. Exactly. Problem solved, except for the parts that we didn't record. Because plus, plus my camera's running. I only have like 10 minutes left. So I'm just going to be right back. I'm going to put this back together, and I'll be right back. So I'll uh, see you guys in a bit. Oh, yeah. Again, through the magic of, uh, you know, film, uh, it's all back together. Presto, change -o. Thanks to me and no one else. Yep, he did all the work. <laughs> Anywho, so... <laughs> So basically, I mean, you could see I, I haven't really pointed out the beginning. Your memory card slot, your headphone jack, the dock connector. It's interesting. A lot of people are complaining that the plug for the dock connector, the earlier models, you can plug the plug in either way, upside down yeah. or not, and it would only charge when it was plugged in one way. Oh. So on this version, mine must be a later model. It has keying, so you can only insert it one way. Yeah, well, so you know, <laughs> that's a pretty it'd be bad smart to like test that out in the first place, you know. Yeah, that'd be a pretty bad epic fail there. Yeah. So let's uh, reinsert. Because, I mean, when you're when you're reinsert. charging something at night, like when you go to plug in your phone or something, it's not like you, it's not like you plug it in and then you're just like, ah, I better make sure it's charging a half hour later. You, you know, you go to bed and then you know you assume it's charging. Thanks, Sony. Yeah. Um, trying to figure out how the heck. Ah, uh, see, maybe you need to watch your video in reverse now. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't remember which way these went in, because I kind of just put them in a pile. Oh, here, I got it. I see, think. you're just like that guy with this house full of things that are just taken apart. Yeah, I got it. I think. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, no, I see. Ah. Damn it all. Oh, man, this is a great turnout video. I know, man. It's working out. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, he's going right now. Uh, you just gotta watch the orientation of these little, uh, these little guys, which, um, hold the, the left and right buttons on. They're a little friction fit, so that you just push them in there. It's all good. So then, uh, let's go ahead and put all these guys. So any, on know, pretty much, like, all their portable systems. They have these stupid little doors. Pull out tabs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those things. Which are interesting and then, until they break off. Uh, yeah. Well. So anyway. So. I have all the screws in that I need. I double check now before I seal this sucker up. So then you just press the, uh, the digitizer as well as the... The battery in there. And we can shut this guy now. And before we put any screws in, we can make sure that it turns on. Yeah. <laughs> just in case. So, if you don't know how to turn on a PS Vita, you just press and hold the uh, button here for like five seconds. God, this is... that was the best tutorial I've ever heard. Yep. Oh man, I've been doing it wrong all these years, man. I gotta go get my PS Vita. You don't even have a Vita. Uh, well, maybe I should go get one now. Now that I know how to take it apart. Okay, and yeah, um, yeah, it's it's January 1st, 2013, I don't care. Oh, yeah. 
But um, as you, so much time now. as you can see, touchscreen works. Uh, let's see there. What? It rearranged all my arc. <laughs> People be wary of when you take it apart. It may rearrange your shenanigans. Yeah, it resets some of the stuff, which is rather annoying. Oh yeah, I know why. Because I stored some of them on my memory card. Yay. That I took out. That I never put back in. It actually... We should probably screw it back together. Um, well let me turn it off. I can screw it back after the uh, tutorial, but I just want to show the... Um, it's annoying when you turn on and off the Vita. When you put it into standby mode, sometimes it takes a while for it to shut off. It'll blink. And there it goes. And now I can put in this little proprietary piece of memory. Why'd they have to make it so small? Okay. At least you can get in there if you have like big hands like me. There's no way. You must restart. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Sony. Thanks, Sony. So, other than that, I love the games on, on these systems. As much as I complain, but I find stuff to complain about every system I've ever owned, so it doesn't really matter. And... Updating database. I yeah. like how it starts at 90% and then goes up by ones. So, um, <laughs> about that weather, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's great. It's, uh, it's a nice day to stay inside and open a Vita. Yep. Okay, 98%, finally. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, here. Yeah, it's a lot of Thanks. waiting, I know, on Sony. the system. But anywho, and then you gotta wait again for it to load the card in there. Okay, so yeah, uh... There it is, all uh, working there, touchscreen working, no notifications, um, yeah, the D-pad works. Uh, this should all work, I'm just testing yeah. to see if I wired everything in right. If you ever plan you know, on working for Sony in the future, don't show them this video, because ah, it's all good. we pick on Sony so much. I just uh, thought of that, because <laughs> I remember you telling me you might want to show people these. Let me just uh, fire up a game to make sure that everything works. It's going to show you his crazy stats. This is a demo. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, like one minute into the game. I'm sure just... you've already maxed out everything using your not really. elite Haxor powers. Not quite. just want to make sure um, all the buttons work. Watching the loading screen. I can see you in the reflection. Yeah, mm. so beautiful in there. It's a lot of waiting for the system, but the games are console quality, so I guess I can't complain. Yeah, it's a little sacrifice. As much as, you know, we've been picking on Sony, I mean, it is actually really nice. Like, you know, like you said, it is uh, it is console quality. You get what you pay for. It's a good, like, the screen, even. Look at that. Yeah, that wasn't a lot of input, but, I mean, like, yeah. I... It seems like it. So both joystick well. works. Uh, looks like the uh, left and right works. I like pushing them there. So it works. <laughs> and it all works. Little does everyone know we're actually advertising for this game, and this was all just a big commercial. No, I don't. I don't do commercials on my channel. That's what we want them to think. But anywho, as you can see, it is all back in one piece. Everything works. Uh, didn't break anything, thank God. And so that's pretty much about it. I'm pretty much right at the uh, total amount of time that I have on here. If you like this video, like, subscribe, uh, comment, everything, and I shall see you guys later. Bye, everybody.